Guys, can we try to assemble in that direction? As many people as can fit that way, please, if we can. Um, just hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We have all night. Flight is 10 o'clock tomorrow night. We have all night. I have all night. Um, um, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time and your presence. We know you have a lot of questions. And the captain will provide you with your answers. Um, but we must be respectful of each other. So please, some phones to sign up first. By raising up your hand, you will get the opportunity to ask a question. And please, wherever possible, use the mic. Thank you for your understanding. Where is the mic at the moment? You have the mic, sir? Give it to you. We start with you. Dad, uh, what does this mean for Western script? Well, first of all, I would like to thank the Almighty, you know, because without him, none of this would have been possible. This means a lot, you know, um, not only for us as a team, but for our fans all over the world. You know, um, I, st I started, we started the tournament by saying that we were inspired by our only 19 boys in, in Bangladesh. And then earlier this afternoon, the Raider women's team played and won the, the, the cup. You know, all that uh, was even more motivation for us to complete the treble, you know, and uh, it, it means a lot for all three teams and, and for, for cricket in, in the region. Yeah. Was there a tournament of vengeance for the West Indies and what was the difference between 2012 and 2016 from motivational aspect? Um, can you ask me that question later on, please? <laughs> Was I want, can you ask me that question later on? <laughs> Darren, um, if there was another player of the tournament award, I think it should have gone to you because you would have won six tosses. That is amazing. <laughs> and um, given the fact that your team likes the cheese, I think that was very important. Indeed. Um, did you bring the coin from St. Lucia? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. As you could see, we, the match referee passed on the coin. But look, you know, God has been on our side. You know, um, the, way, the way the men have, have played. And I still think if we had to bat first, with no total on the board, it would even be even easier for us, you know. Um, but I must commend the, the, the men and the way they've, they've played throughout this tournament. You know, we left the Caribbean with, with a six-step goal to the cup, you know, and Carlos Braffitt in his debut World Cup, you know, um, what a player he, he, he's shown, he has shown that he could be. Uh, Marlon Samuels again in the finals, I think he scored 85 again. You know, so it speaks volume. You know, um, Bravo, Russell, you know, all the, all the guys, you know, chipped in. And for me as a leader, it was just, it was just a, a joy to, to captain these guys out there. You know, um, our team have a lot of stars. So for me, it's just to handle all the egos in the dressing room and make the right decisions for, for the team. You know, people would probably say that, you know, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't take part in the tournament, but um, no, we, for me, my job is to do what's necessary for the team to win, make the right decisions out there together with the input from the senior players. And look, it was just a, a tremendous uh, tournament, and we're going to celebrate this, this win. Darren, um, can you just describe the final over ball by ball to us, how, how you saw it, right? what was <laughs> going through it? All right. Um, OK, 19 runs, uh, six balls, all of us in, dress in the dugout. Okay, we like three hits, three big hits. That's all we need. First one over square leg six. Yes, come on, Carlos. Second one, where did it go? Did we make it? Long one. Yes, come on, Carlos. One more hit away, you know. And uh, 
uh, the football, six again. We haven't been for me one. He was halfway on the field. You know, and uh, look, it was just amazing. You know, um, Jerome Taylor sat in the, in the dugout and said, we will win with two balls to spare. You know, and he was spot on. You know, and it was just a joy. We needed this. You know, we've been through so much. And to come out here and, and win this tournament, it, it's, it's, it was just amazing. When did you feel you had it? Or did you never feel you had not? No, we believe. C haven't you seen the belief in this team? It's a never say die attitude. You know, and, and the way the guys have played, you know, we, we've, we've, we've had some tough victories, you know, and uh, today was another tough one. They started off really well, and um, yeah, it was good to come out across the line. Uh, Darren, two World Cup wins now. I mean, you're on par with Clive Lloyd, greatest ah. Brazilian captain ever. So, uh, just for you, I mean, what does this mean? Like, you know, you've been through a lot over the years. It means, it, it means a lot, you know. Um, like I said in the post-match, I, I don't know when I'll have these guys in the dressing room. You look at the, the schedule, I don't see any T20 schedule for this year. You know, because of the system in the Caribbean, you know, um, we have a tri-series and then we have a series against India and we are not eligible for, for selection. So um, this tournament uh, meant a lot. You know, not only for me, but for, for the guys. And you, I said from the inception, we played for a cause. And I really want to commend the men for the way they've, you know, just put the focus into the cricket. And, you know, now the cricket is over, then we could deal with all the issues that we're going to talk about. First of all, congratulations. To you. Thank you. Well, first of all, um, oh, so many questions. Wow, I'm, I'm lost. Yeah, but if I could remember what you said. Um, well, um, look, we left the Caribbean and we said we were in it to win it. You know, and uh, the experts or the so-called experts, the commentators, the journalists, they didn't give us a chance. You know, um, one particular journalist said, uh, we play with no brains. You know, that, I think that comment really, really brought this team together. You know, together with all the contract issues. And uh, the way the men came out and, and play. You look at the side with Chris Gale, Russell, Bravo, you know, Badgley, you know, um, Jason Holder, Carlos Bradford, you know, Suleiman Ben. You know, on any given day, they could have a brilliant performance. And I said we had 15 match winners. People said it was a man, one man show. You know, and that's been the hallmark. You know, since the 100, you know, Chris has not turned up uh, with the runs, but yet still we keep win, winning convincingly. So it, it shows that we're not a one man team. And uh, what I could tell you about this T20 team, it's bringing fa um, smiles across the faces of all the Caribbean fans, you know, and even here in India, you saw the crowd was behind us, you know, so we as a T20 outfit, we, we entertain, you know, I don't know about uh, the glory days where we dominated test cricket for 17 years, you know, that is a, a, an area which we really have to improve, but the success of this T20 team cannot be um, unnoticed, you know, um, we we bring smiles to, to the fans, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Well, 
the next World Cup is in four years, I, I probably have to get fitter if I want to play the next one and Chris might have to do more push-ups. But um, no, it's, that's why this one mean, means a lot more than the first one we won because we, we knew what was at stake. Uh, Darren, uh, Carlos was playing just his eighth T20 international today. Uh, before this tournament began, you had a warm-up game against Australia where you looked down and out. You and Carlos had a big partnership, took you home. Do you think that experience might have helped set him up for tonight? Well, look, if you look at, um, there's a reason why he was bought in the IPL. You know, they've seen what he's capable of doing, you know, and uh, when we lost um, Pollard, um, and he replaced Pollard, you know, um, I told the guys he is going to be, he's one to look out for. You know, and the way he's played, not only with the bat, but also with the ball, you know, he's going to be a massive asset for us. You know, and uh, he's, he's improved uh, uh, every game. You know, this is the depth we have in, in, in the team. You look at no Narai, no Pollard, Simons came late, no Darren Bravo, and yet still, we won a, a, a cup, so it shows that we're really good at, at in this format. And uh, you know, again, the way he played under pressure was just tremendous to watch. Um, Darren, uh, now that uh, your your team is on top of the world, are you at peace with yourself? I'm always at peace with myself. <laughs> always. Don't you see this smile all the time? You know, they have issues that has to be dealt with. The main focus was to play this tournament and play to win and then talk after. So no. now we've won, then we could talk. Now the points have been proved, so I mean, is, is, does that make you make it quits now? Beg your pardon? The points have been proved uh, now with this win. A lot of people, a lot of points have been proved. So is, is that quits now as far as... as quits? Retirement. retirement. Oh. No, 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 not retirement. <laughs> Are you trying to do me a baby? <laughs> 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 I don't understand what you're saying. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted like, your thoughts a little bit on, on Patri's spell. I mean, it's going to be forgotten maybe a little bit because of what happened at the end. But it's not forgotten. You know, he's, that's why he's the number one bowler in T20 cricket. You know, um, and he keeps on turning the spell. We watched the, the, the quarter, the semi finals. Uh, England and New Zealand, and you know, they just kept New Zealand kept on bowling pace, and we said we're just going to Badger is going to boss the power play for us, and that's exactly what he did. Bowl wicket to wicket, and the results he's got, you know, he just set the game up for us. And yes, they had a partnership with Root and 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 um, and Butler, but we kept taking wickets, and on that Kolkata pitch, you know, one. 150, we were really happy with it halfway through. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching midnight, which means we would have been we to start yesterday and finish tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to entertain <coughs> captain's choice. I'm here. I'm at yeah. your disposal. Don't mind, Spooner. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> ask me that question again, yeah. Didn't ask, yeah. ask me that question now. Was that a point? Was that a tournament of vengeance for West Indies and from motivational aspect? How different was 2012 and 2016? Okay, 2012, we believed that we could win it. We needed uh, silverware in the, in the Caribbean. And uh, yes, they didn't give us a chance back then, but the way we, we played, you know, it was the first taste of glory or silverware since 2004 when we won the ICC. This one, with all that happened before the tournament, you know, the disrespect from commented from journalists, from our own cricket board, you know, that was out of order. And we just, the only way we could make a statement is by winning this tournament. So when you see those 15 men out there playing with passion and determination and the hunger for success and victories, it all stems from what been boiling inside and now that is over you know we could talk about it but this victory is solely dedicated to to the Caribbean people the fans all over the world okay. Any last message for Mark Nicholas? Ah, 
I've done, I'm done with Mark, honestly. Last question, guys. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Captain, after this kind of a victory, people are likely to bring back test cricket also, generally people do that. Is it fair to bring back test cricket uh, after wins in 2020 cricket? Um, they are almost different sports. Look, we get a lot of stick wherever we go because of the way we play test cricket. T20 and test cricket is a totally different format, you know. Um, and you can't compare the two. We are very good in T20 cricket. The fact is that we've not been able to play uh, a brand of, of test cricket that allows us to win, you know. But if you look at our side, we have a young captain in Jason, who I think is improving all the time. And um, we have some youngsters. So it's with structural development, I could see the Bravos, the Blackwoods, the Braff weights, well, double Braff weights, and uh, the Bishus and all these guys making an impact. You know, they could take inspiration from the way we play T20, and you know, just just be more more uh, dedicated to Test cricket, and um, hopefully, this this win could inspire our Test cricketers to to be better. Thank you, Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.